Hey everybody, I am back with part two of our How to Go <laughs> Organic. And this segment is about with kids, how to go organic when you have kids. Um, and that was something I had to really think about because the first thing I said was like, okay guys, we are going organic. That's it, we're going organic. And my kids were like, uh, what? My daughter said, what about ice cream? I'll never be able to have ice cream again. And she's like, we're gonna win, right? Like she was freaking out. I was like, well, I think they have organic ice cream. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe we will go on a field trip. And that's what we did. We took a field trip, all of us, and I let them pick an alternative to their favorite thing. Um, so say my oldest daughter, hers was ice cream, um, other was chips, other was um, uh, cheese, different things like that, that they felt that they could not live without. So it was like, okay, now he wants to nurse. Right. Um, so that's what we did. We went out, we went to the store, we, we got a couple of um, alternatives to their everyday type of must-haves. And we tried different things. And we're like, okay, hate this one, like this one, oh, this could work, right? So that's what we did. It was a process of trying to um, switch things up little by little, trying to find something that it was palatable um, because mentally you think it's going to be different, right? You see organic, you think it's going to taste like dirt. It's not going to be any seasoning. It's not going to have any flavor, but that's not the case. But we've been so trained and conditioned to, for things to taste a certain way that you think that it actually tastes good. But when you remove all of the... <laughs> msg and everything you realize what you're eating is really not food it's not it's not good right so um so that's what we did can can you get out of my way man are you done hello what are you <laughs> okay move back okay I think he's enjoying seeing himself. Okay, so clearly my my milk had like sugar in it. So that's what I want you guys to do. If I can get a face in here, is involve your kids in the decision to go organic. Have them pick things that they actually can't live without. And say, okay, let's try to figure this out together. Pick that one thing that you have to have, and let's try to pick, find a suitable replacement for it. And once you do that, they start to understand or start to think that, okay, well, maybe this is doable because I replaced this and it was fine. And then you slowly start replacing other things with, you know, with your family involved. And they can see that it's really not a big deal, right? And start reading labels with your kids. When you order certain things, one of our musts was um, Papa John's at the time before he went bananas. Um... And we were like, oh my God, you know, that sauce, that garlic sauce was like, oh my God, like you had to have the garlic sauce, right? So I said, you know what? We had ordered pizza one night and I said, let's just read the label. I never really was like into reading all the labels all the time. Like you always hear people talk about it, but eh, anybody got time for that, you know? So we took this sauce. And I'm telling you, next time you order something and there's a label, read it. And I was like, I said, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have read this. 
there was no garlic in it. So, what in the world are we eating? It was like oil, something, something, <laughs> and like like MSG and stuff. I'm like, what the heck is this? So, no. if you took oh, all that out, sure. it wouldn't no, taste no. good at <laughs> all. <laughs> you know? And he's been organic since birth. Can you move back, buddy? Move back. <laughs> so, I see he's not going to let me make this video any longer than five minutes. <laughs> or ten minutes. So, get your family involved. And make it fun make it interactive make it a family thing and start little by little so that is my first advice if you have children okay so take care let me know if this was helpful and Part three is going to be coming as soon as I can put this one to bed. Yeah. All right. You guys have a wonderful night and keep trying.